A Norfolk mother of six brutally murdered 11 years ago. Tonight, her family is pleading for closure. And could you be the one who helped solve the case? Our Lauren Martinez has the exclusive interview in this special report. Almeida Harrington is ready to tell all as she speaks out for the first time in more than a decade since her daughter's passing. And she says she may know who could have committed the crime. Harrington is still bearing life without daughter Cherie Simmons after she was killed in May of 2013. Cherie, she was a very uh, sweet, open young lady, friendly. Everybody was her friend. She was always helpful to everybody that knew her. And she loved life. She had children that we all as a family support and help raise. Simmons was the victim of a brutal homicide that occurred inside her Norfolk home where she was found. As the case had gone cold, Harrington was left with a buildup of unanswered questions, starting with how she learned of her daughter's death. She said the initial call to police was made by the cousin who lived across the street from Simmons and claims that family member never reached out to her when she reported the crime. That's been so unsettling to me because I did not get the call that you would suggest or knock on the door to tell me. I didn't get a call from my relatives. I didn't get a call until someone who wasn't family called me. Harrington says after the incident, she had no conversations with the cousin, also saying the lack of communication from other relatives who lived nearby heightened her suspicions. Do you think anyone would have had a motive to harm your daughter? Nobody should have been there. And if somebody was going to be there, it should have been family that would do the right thing. She says she believes family was at Simmons's apartment in the days leading up to her murder and is not convinced of the story being told. I think it's a lie. I think it's a put together. I think it's making an excuse. If you were there, this is my total thing. As a member of this family, it's usually known that if someone knows something, if someone has information, they are making calls to that other family member. Who do you believe could have hurt your daughter and taken her life? It was someone that she would have, been, and this is not a thing that she would do. If they had access to her house, if they were in her house at that time or the day or even at night, they were there because they were there for a purpose. Rather than rather they, who are you referring to? Cousins. Cousins. Close cousins. First cousins. While Harrington is short of specifics as to how the murder was committed, she says she could tell by reading details it was an extremely violent scene. She had to be beaten. Anytime you're between a mattress and a wall. And if you were beaten in that manner, you were attacked. She tells me her daughter lived a normal lifestyle, but did insinuate she was a bit too trusting with people. If you were family, you were, her doors were open to you. If it's one thing Cherie Simmons' mother wants, it's justice as she continues to grieve her daughter's death. Reporting in Norfolk, Lauren Martinez, 10 on your side.